Hey y'all, I'm Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. and I am back for another Plan With Me video. So this week is going to be a little different for two reasons. The first reason is that I've already done the plan with me. Um, last week I was just not feeling great, didn't feel like being up to being on camera. And so finally, at the end of the week, I, well not even the end of the week, like Tuesday or Wednesday, I just had to plan and, uh, and figured I'd backtrack from there later. So this week was, was interesting because I really wanted, oh, to go ahead and not use a sticker kit, um, but I also really last week I didn't use a sticker kit either and I really loved how it turned out but it was very hard without checklists because I really use those every day I had a couple checklists um, that I was able to pull in that were kind of spare and I know Mambi has checklists in their books but I don't know I don't always like them and I really like full checklists, like the ombre heart checklist. So this week, I decided to experiment um, with a combination of Mambi sticker books. So I used these two, the Daydreamer and the Glam Girl. They're both from the um, last release that had the four different sections. And they both have this really pretty... Just, uh, I'm trying to see if I can find one. And I kind of, kind of put stickers everywhere when I'm using them, as you can tell. But they all both have rose gold scattered throughout them, which is why I bought them in the first place. Because, as you know, I love anything with rose gold. And so I had to have both of those books, even though I haven't been using Mambi sticker books for a while. So, the other thing that I really wanted to use was my post-it notes. I love post-it notes. I have a bunch of them. Keep some here. Um, ooh. And you can see I have these same post-it notes on here. These were the first ones I bought. I bought two or three of them now because I use them all the time and love them. So I actually have a post on how to make this little dashboard and it has a cute folder on the other side on the blog. So I will link that below in case you guys want to make one. And then in the back, I have these bad boys. So this is actually a sticker set, a sticky note set. Um, I think from Mambi, because I believe these were on it to begin with. Or maybe these were on it. No, I put these on it. But I will just put sticky notes on wherever. Um, these are from the Target dollar spot. And then these are all Mambi, and then these are from Hobby Lobby. And then these, of course, are the Glam Girl sticky notes that come pre-punched. And then these are some of the Target Dollar Spot and then some of the Trendsetter sticky notes. Um, my best friend wanted these and I really wanted this unicorn so she gave me uh, the unicorn because she's not really into unicorns and then she gave me a couple of the other ones. But I just love how these really fit in the boxes and they're great for like even this one. I like the ones with the lines because they're great for um, checklists. The project one here is great too if you're working on like a blog project or something or even I guess a home decor project. So let's go back to this week. So this week I decided that I would kind of make my own sticker kit 
with sticky notes. Now right here you can see is missing and that's because I need more. It's this sticky note right here with the rose gold foil on the top. And I've already gone through like two or three of these. And so I've pulled it off of here. Sorry, these keep coming off to put in my notebook because I use them all the time. But basically what I did was I went ahead and I used the gray and white sticky notes for a checklist every other day, well every day, different times, just like I would in a sticker kit like this with the ombre heart checklist. Now, since they don't have a checklist, I tried a couple different things. I tried using one of the Mambi checklists. Um, let's see if I can even find one. So they have them in here that are the long skinny ones. And of course, I'm not going to be able to find them. They have like a whole page of them. There's some like these. They're not quite the right colors for this week though. Um, so my second go-to option was my little heart checklist that I have from Notes and Clips maybe? I'm pulling them out right now so I can show them to you guys. And of course, since I'm on camera, it will take a minute. Okay, here they are. So I've had these forever. I love them. They are interesting because, as you can see, they are open hearts. And so what that means is the checklist part is actually like a cutout. And I've tried using them just like this. They're gorgeous, but for some reason that really bugs me. But the problem with using these in conjunction with the sticky notes, I'll put this on here so you can see. So if you line up the hearts with the lines, they're just a little off center. So you can see like up here, it doesn't quite line up properly. So I tried that first. It was the same problem with the Mambi ones. So I mean, you have two options at that point. You can just leave the checklist off and use it as a checklist and just put check marks next to the things when you're done with them. I decided, however, that I wanted to add just a little bit more of rose gold. As always, more rose gold is always better in my world. It already has the little rose gold at the bottom there, which is adorable. So um, the, the part that I use the most, as you can tell, is not the outlines of the checklist, which you're actually supposed to use, but the little hearts inside. I love them. I use them all the time for everything, for checkpoints, for bullet points, which is like the same thing, just for little hearts, like I added one. Uh, where did I add it? Down here for the weekend. Oh, you can't even see it. I'm sorry. I thought it was so cute. I just love them. I use them for everything. So, apparently I'm making a big mess. So I went ahead and added them to all my checklists. And then the other thing that I did is I added headers to my checklist. Now, of course, since we're not using a check, like actual kit with checklists, I had to be a little creative about how I did this. So for a couple of them, I went ahead and used washi and actual like little reminder, important. These are from, I believe, the Glam Girl kit. Let's see if we can find the page they're from. And they are really cute and they have different scenes. But the thing I liked about them is that, you can see here's some that aren't rose gold, is the size. They're really skinny, like, um, like header size, I guess you would say. There's more of the checklist. Of course. 
course, now that I'm looking for them, I am not going to be able to find them. Maybe they're in the Daydreamer set. They're going to be on, like, yeah, the absolute last page. So they are in the Daydreamer book, and you can see I have a couple of them left. Um, and you can see I used a lot of this Daydreamer little page here for this week. And this is, is this book box down here. I used one of these little check boxes somewhere. So, I mean, they're really cute. I used these here. So... Um, with some layering, I just added washi, and then I added the headers over top of that. The other thing that I did was add these little work labels as headers to some of my boxes. And I absolutely love them. They are from White Deer Stationery, and I will show you. They are just so delicate. It's ridiculous. Like, here's the work ones. Do you see how pretty those are? I do not want to focus. There. I mean, they just are so delicate. And they're clear backed, so they really go well over anything. But it really just makes those sticky notes into a more of an actual box, which is wonderful. So I added a couple of those, and they do come in different foils. I, of course, have the rose gold foil. So then, after I had my checklist down, um, and the other thing to think of is you don't always need a full checklist. So I figured out as I was going that sometimes I needed a full checklist and sometimes with the headers it made more sense to have kind of a half checklist. And so just be conscious when you're working on it, the difference. And do you want all long checklists? Because you may, or you may want short ones. And then the other thing to think about, let's see if I have it. I don't have it in here. It's in the other room at my workstation um, where I'm working on my brush lettering and my traveler's notebooks right now. Because they're sticky notes, they're only sticky on the top, of course, like a post-it note. And so I use my removable glue stick, and I'll add a link for that, just to put the bottoms down. Um, so it's still removable. I could still take them up if I wanted. I absolutely love that glue stick. It makes everything easy. So I did go ahead and do that with all of my sticky notes. So then the other part that I used was these pretty today stickers. I love the rose gold bottoms that they have. Those are so pretty. And so same kind of thing. I used a couple as full boxes when I needed to write some, and then I used the other ones for half boxes when I just needed that half box square that you would normally have. Like here, I went ahead and cut that down because that's a really good um, size for a half box and it still has the pretty detailing. And then you can add a couple headers if you want, or you can leave them blank. So then, after that, it was on to quarter boxes. So, of course, the rose gold little boxes here were my favorite for quarter boxes. And I really love how they look with the little rose gold icons. These are from... Oh, I don't even know. I just ordered some more yesterday, so I should know. Um, I absolutely love them, but they're new. I've only had them for like a week two weeks. I'm putting them on everything. Fancy sticker prints. And see how cute those are? I love how many you get on a sheet. Usually you get like six or something. So I love how many you have and I love how small they are. And I love that they're all my favorite colors. Pink and rose gold. So they look really good with those. Really, really loved those. And so then the last kind of quarter boxes I did were these. Now these quarter boxes are the ones with these pink and gray, 
Now that pink and gray would have looked okay, but it's just not quite the look I was going for. I really wanted to use these paper clips from my newest addiction with the rose gold. And so I went ahead and I used some of my Tombow markers to just outline them. You can see that little bit of pink on the edge or the little bit of blue on the end. And that's just because without the like outline of the rose gold sides, it really didn't, you couldn't even tell it was a box. It just blended into the background. And so that just gives it that little pop that makes it a distinct box, which is wonderful. So that's pretty much how I worked with these. I also have from Notes and Clips, same place as the checklist here, I have these boxes, um, which I used for TVs and for my bill dues. And those are great because they're already quarter box size and they're rose gold and they come in different colors and so they really work with just about any spread that I do um, because I use those colors almost every week if I can use rose gold and pink every week I do um, <laughs> I know not everyone's like that those are my favorite colors so that's what I use um, so these are perfect but that is how I did this entire spread with basically two Mambi sticker books and post-its. Now I know that I have a lot of little icons. Sorry y'all, camera cut out. A lot of little icons like these from White Deer Stationery, like the ones I just showed you from fancy sticker people, um, like the ones from Notes and Clips, like the ones from White Deer Stationery. I've been collecting those over time and because I pretty much only buy rose gold icons or rose gold stickers, they all go together, which makes this really easy. If you don't have that kind of stuff, there are icons in the Mambi sticker books that you can use. Like I did use one of these little planners. Like there are these kind of icons I didn't need to use extra stickers. I just like them and I have them. Um, I really do recommend if you're going to buy extra icon stickers like that, trying to pick one finish, like I prefer rose gold, so that's what I buy all my stickers in. Um, if you like silver, go for silver. If you like pink, go for pink. If you like gold, go for gold. Because then they're all really cohesive and you can use them on almost any spread. You don't have to be like, oh, I need all my pink foiled stickers this week. Or, oh, I need all my silver foiled stickers. That would be wonderful, but not all of us can afford stickers for every single week. So that's a really good way to build a collection over time that you can use for every week and they still look good. I mean, I'm pretty sure I use the same icons every week. The other thing to do is to really watch the Target dollar spot because they often have um, like these here, different sticker books for really inexpensive. Um, I think this week I used more of those like this one here, the reminder and the important and the today headers, those are all from the Target dollar spot. So, yeah. That's my two cents for the week. I hope you liked it. I hope it wasn't too confusing without the actual plan with me. I know it's not as exciting um, just to go over it and to have a little review as it is to actually watch the stickers go down and the thought process, but it is what it is. I wasn't feeling good, but I still really wanted to show you how I used the post-it notes because I love how that turned out. I really may do this again because I thought it turned out great. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, leave a comment below and tell me what you use post-it notes for. I do use them to pre-plan, which is why I have so many in my planner here, but I really liked using them in my spread this week. So leave a comment, tell me if you've used post-its in a spread, I'd love to see. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you probably wanna see 
all my other uh, spreads. I know I like looking at spreads. Anyways, thanks for hanging out with me. Bye, y'all.